guys welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking onto this video i hope and pray that this video will reach you guys in great health and strength filled with god's richest love his joy his peace his happiness and all of the amazing and wonderful and beautiful things that life has to offer i hope and pray that 2021 is going great for you I just wanted to come on here to tell you guys, thank you so much for your kind words and um, <laughs> your jokes and all that stuff on my previous uploads uh, with my trip to Guyana. I spent three weeks and the time is never enough when you go to visit. Um, but this trip was very special for me because my mother and my husband were, we were all in the same home. And I felt so loved. I felt so, I don't know what other word I can use to describe the feeling. Um, it is always a blessing to be amongst family even if it's not a whole bunch of people you could be related to people but then you could be related by blood but they still not be family if you know what i mean but i really thank god for my own family because of some of the trials and testings that i've endured throughout my life and i never really thought that i would have been able to be blessed with what i have now i just wanted to come on here and to encourage anyone who is listening to this and who is praying or for god to turn things around in your life i just want to encourage you to not give up continue praying continue seeking the lord and continue being patient and walking in humility and I can assure you that one day, one day of God's favor is better than a thousand years or a hundred years because none of us are so old, <laughs> but it's better than man's favor. You know, um, God can turn things around for you in the blink of an eye and you will be so shocked. You will be so left in awe and wondering how did this happen when did this happen but all you will be able to do is give god thanks um, so my trip was really nice it started out really rocky um my husband and i we got into a lot of arguments <laughs> um and i think it's because when we got married three days after we um said our i do we had to part because I had to come back here and, well, he's in Guyana. And uh, I was supposed to go back home for our first wedding anniversary. But it didn't work out that way because of the whole pandemic and everything was shut down. I bought my ticket and everything to go home in August and it didn't work out. Needless to say, I was really bummed. Both of us were really bummed because... One, we didn't get a honeymoon, and two, we didn't get to spend our first wedding anniversary together. But anyway, God has his way of working things out. It may not make any sense to us at the time, but in the long run, we understand, we get to see and we understand why he allowed things to go the way that they do well i'm going to share some things with you guys about how my husband and i met and how um how things worked out for those of you girls who are looking to be married and to settle down and all that stuff i will share with you guys some i'll, I'll give you my unwarranted advice you don't have to take it but I'll share it, um, some of the things that the Lord put me through to prepare me for marriage. And let me tell you, I am coming from a very independent <laughs> background, uh, not growing up with my father in my life, my mom being mom and dad. And with the help of the Lord, she was able to provide every 
everything that I ever needed and wanted in life. Um, had a great education. I wasted a lot of time, but I don't regret anything because as I sit here today and I'm talking to this camera, <laughs> like I'm crazy, <laughs> but as I sit here today, I am very thankful for all of my life experiences up until this point, even in the moments when I thought that I would not have made it, when the enemy whispered in my ear, all the negative things causing me to look at all of the bad, shunning the Lord and not being patient or being sorry for myself and, you know, wanting to, desiring to no longer be around. I wanted to go away forever because I thought that a lot of the problems that was occurring in my life was because of me. And maybe if I were no longer here, those problems would have miraculously disappeared. But that was lies, 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 lies from the father of lies, who is the devil. So if he is whispering those lies to you in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will rise above it you will get up and you will say no more no more devil you're not gonna lie to me anymore you are going to take all of your cares all of your burdens everything that you have going on in your life and you will cast them at the feet of jesus and you will leave it there and you will trust him with your life because that is what i did and i have no regrets I will never look back. I don't ever want to go back to that place. And I don't want you to, once you come out of it, I don't want you to go back to that place. There is freedom and liberty in Christ, not to sin willfully or deliberately, but to live a righteous life, a life filled with joy, a life filled with blessings and the blessings doesn't have to come in a form of money or material things but you know good health joy peace <laughs> wisdom roof over your head you could be in a tight tight situation and you come out of it and you don't even know how you come out of it you know um you can get those things and I know I'm, I'm a little all over the place as per usual that's me <laughs> but uh back to my trip home so this trip was really 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 eye-opening for many reasons um since being married this is the longest <laughs> that was the longest i've been around my husband and let me tell you we butt heads so many times he he and i are both born in the month of october he is five days older than i am so we are very strong-headed people but for me as um being a woman being the lesser of the two in the sense of how god created us in the order of things it was a little difficult for me to really submit to my husband and the Lord had to allow a certain situation. And also, before I say that, it was a little bit difficult for me to submit to him. And it was difficult for him to really understand um, that, you know, you have a wife. <laughs> and uh, so what, we were clashing a lot. And we had this really big blowout this big problem like this big 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 pashwe not we weren't physical with each other but we were like fighting all day arguing arguing thank god for our parents who are there and intervened and has been helping us <laughs> um but then the lord allowed the situation to occur in my husband's life that brought brought both of us closer to each other and we realized what we're really in 
and how serious it is. I really thank God for this trip and everything that happened. I thank God for it, the good, the bad, and everything in between because it has really, it has taught me a lot. And <laughs> I have to tell you guys about the car that I rented. Oh, this story is crazy. A lot of it is my fault. I did not pay attention to the unction of the Holy Spirit telling me not to rent the vehicle. So it was a very pricey lesson that I've learned, which I will share in some upcoming videos that I plan on recording and uploading. Guyana is absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to share this here. And I have a video that I have to release, which I um, did. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I'm going to tell you guys this. So I do intend on returning to Guyana to reside. Um, I want to be settled there. And if need be that I have to travel, I will travel. But I want to go back home. I can't tell you exactly when I'm going home. I made up my mind. I'm going Oh, I'm going back home. Everything that I need, um, I can get there. And if need be, I have to travel. I could always travel and come and get it. But I prefer being home. I feel a lot more freer. I feel a lot more happier. Things are not perfect, but I don't want a perfect life. I want to have trials and tri tribulations. <laughs> How are you going to learn if you don't go through trials intestines it's just a simple life this the simple morning sounds of the 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 animal the animals the the fowls and the the, the the birds singing and you open the window or you pull your your curtain or your blind and there's one big palm tree there the sunshine the greenery being able to go outside in January, February, March, December, you know, the place gets a little chilly, but not as cold for me to wear like a heavy coat or anything like that. Um, being around family, although that's another story, a family can be real, real, real. Sometimes you gotta be away from family. I enjoyed it. The only thing is, I know that there is work. Work is there, right? Um, but I feel like the government can do more with providing jobs for everyone, not just one group of people. And that's the one thing that I don't like about the, um, the racial issues, you know? Um, imagine Indians and Blacks are fighting two brown people fighting each other for for whatever reason but um that's the only that's my only thing I, I really 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 wish that the government can do more for people because people need work and there are young people that's willing to work that don't want to get themselves in trouble that don't want to take up a life of crime or anything like that that wants to make their money the honest way but the jobs are not as much as you would want them to be and there are many opportunities many areas of opportunities for work to be had um there i was walking in georgetown a sunday afternoon the sunday before i came back my husband and i we were going to the mall and well sunday it's very dead in georgetown in the city and when we were walking down, I don't know the name of the street, but there was um, a homeless man sleeping on the street, but in the gutter, it was just so dirty. So I turned to my husband and I said, you know, they should have people cleaning this place every single day of the week. That's a job opportunity there, having people cleaning up the areas, not just in the Garden City, but all over Guyana, you know, having people cleaning the streets, 
um, to ensure that the country is nice and clean, not just for when diplomatic people are coming, but for all, all people that live there. Everyone wants to live in a nice, clean place. When you go to other countries, you see how well they keep their um, country ni nice and clean and no garbages around and stuff like that. And you, you see that and it's crazy. But... Guyana was nice, man. Um, I can't wait to go back. I can't wait to go back. I'm so excited for <laughs> my next trip home. <laughs> um, and I don't know. We'll see how things will go. Uh, let me know when you plan on going. When you're going. How long you're going for. Let me know. Let me know. Um, and let me see. Is there anything else I want to talk about? It's 17 minutes. Okay. Um, I'm going to move say I really do much going out wise. I want to, my next trip, Lord willing, I want to go to other parts. So I want to go see Bartica. I want to go to New Amsterdam. I want to go to Burbies. I want to go to the Savannas. I really want to go to, the, to that part of the country. Um, maybe let him i know it's a long drive and i'm a very i don't know <laughs> but i would really love to visit those places um i want to go see the other little waterfalls and stuff like that i want to go to some of the resorts um i just want to do a lot more i want to go visit some of the hotels and you know just to share more of my country the country of my birth with viewers people that are interested in guyana and what we have to offer because we have so much to offer and i can't wait um if you are going to guyana please definitely check out my godmother's uh place on rob street it's called telmas delights they make you get all your Guyanese cuisine there. She's been in the business for a year. She had a business over here and then they moved to Guyana. And yeah, she's doing well. So definitely check them out. Um, let me see. One more I could do. Def check out Giftland Mall. I went to Hard Rock Cafe. And... Uh, I gotta go back again. I gotta go back again. Car, you know what? Um, it was my first time there and it was mm, it left a lot to be desired the only thing i like about the oh they are expensive Whew, they are expensive mm -mm -mm. i know why <coughs> they're expensive but but um let me see <coughs> excuse me well, my thing is, I don't really, I'm not into the party life or anything like that, you know? That was, that was back in the days. <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me, that's not my thing anymore. But, um, Hard Rock Cafe, it's right on the East Coast, so you could sit down outside. That's what I liked about it. And I think Movie Town is right next to it. If you wanted to go see movies or anything like that. Uh, I enjoyed... It was in the Giftland Mall. What's it called? Temp, Temp Bar and Lounge. So we went there and I enjoyed their chicken parmesan. It was the best chicken parmesan I've ever had. Okay. Definitely go there. Then I tried my husband's um tilapia. He had baked tilapia and mashed potato with some steamed vegetables amazing <laughs> wonderful tasty delicious um <clears throat> their menu they have a lot of american food because and european food because <clears throat> i noticed that there were a lot of white people there so i figured that they were catering to a lot of them people which is not bad because they love guyana Let's be real. <laughs> they love it. Giftland Mall is nice. Definitely go check it, check it out. Go to the department store. The department store reminded me of like a, a Macy's or like a Walmart or something that has a two-story. It's nice. Upstairs has all of the furnishings, like mirrors and 
lights and all these fancy things and then the downstairs you find you can find cosmetics shoes clothing um what else they have um electrical no exercise gear um suitcases and stuff like that uh there is the ashley furniture store which is really nice and i do i see i saw a few things in there that i'd like to get so pr probably by the time i go back down they'll have new newer things so um yeah they had a nice bad people it nice bad 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 i telling y'all go back home go back home now is the time to go home and invest stay tuned for videos i'm gonna try my best to talk about if you are interested in opening a bank account i'll share whatever little knowledge i got about that with you guys <clears throat> on how to do that that is a whole stress okay there are some things that they need to work on <clears throat> that can be really annoying any type of government business you gotta do don't go down to guyana for like a two weeks and expect it to be done within two weeks give yourself more time because they are still a little slow with certain things a customer service they are it's okay it's about i'll give it about a six out of ten <laughs> yeah but guyana nice guyana is nice i got nothing more for say i learned a few words one is don't safari it's something about minding your own business, but I do, and I too sure <laughs> how those two correlate. Don't safari, normalize yourself. This time, my cousin, they were trying to teach me some things, but we didn't have enough time. Anyway, I think that is it. I am going to end this video here because I'm about to have my dinner. I hope you enjoyed this little, I don't know. It's just a little gaff and video. I come for gaff with y'all um, about my trip and uh yeah if you have any questions for me leave your questions down below and i will try my best to answer you guys i love you so much and i thank you for all of your love and support and i hope that you will stay tuned for all of my upcoming videos god bless you and i will see you soon bye ciao for now